Good morning. Hope that you're excited. Hope that you're ready to dig into Matthew's gospel once again. Uh, we're going to finish 23 of Matthew today. Matthew 23, verses 37, 38, and 39. <clears throat> and today's text does come right on the heels of uh, Jesus' long criticism or woes or condemnations on the hypocrisy of the religious leaders. Um, and as you recall, Jesus' criticism ends with a description of how the religious leaders and the Jewish people had killed the prophets, so many prophets who brought the message of God. And that feeds exactly into our text today, Matthew 23, verses 37, 38, and 39. Jesus said, O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, the city that kills the prophets and stones God's messengers, how often I have wanted to gather your children together as a hen protects her chicks beneath her wings, but you wouldn't let me. And now look, our house is abandoned and desolate, for I tell you this, you will never see me again until you say blessings on the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Well, Jesus' words are reminiscent of the signs of a disobedience of God's people throughout their history as they became disobedient, as they rebelled against God. He sent messengers from uh, uh, Elijah up into John the Baptist to proclaim repent and turn to the Lord. That's the basic message of the prophets. Repent and God will forgive you. Follow his ways. And almost without fail, the prophets were attacked, they were beaten, they were arrested, they were killed, on and on and on. And the people ignored what they said when all they did was proclaim the word of God, which was in the best interest of the people to hear and respond to. Jesus says, how often I have wanted to gather you together like children, like a hen protects her chicks beneath her wings, but you wouldn't let me. Jesus is reminding us the purpose of discipline, the purpose of, of uh, punishment, the purpose of God's judgment is that his people would come back. Today, in my, uh, or well, right now in my devotional time, I'm reading through the book of Ezekiel. And throughout the book, it says all of this is happening, repeated over and over again, so that you will know that I am the Lord. God wants his people to know him and accept his protection, but they fail to do so. And then Jesus quotes from Psalm 118, and he says in verse 38, Look, your house is abandoned and desolate. He quotes from this psalm to remind the people that he is the Messiah. That's what this psalm invokes. That's what this psalm declares. Jesus Christ is the Messiah who has come to save his people. But they will not experience that salvation until they'll say, Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Until they will accept the Christ, the Messiah, Jesus, that has been sent by God. This is reminiscent of a few days ago. We looked at what we do with who Jesus is. Israel cannot experience salvation until they accept the Messiah that God has sent. We cannot experience life until we accept Jesus Christ as the gift from God. What will we do? What will they do with the Messiah? Lord, we thank you for today. Thank you in the midst of our failures, in the midst of our continued rebellion, that you are there waiting to forgive, waiting to receive those who would repent and accept your salvation. Help us to be people who are devoted to you. Help us to not fall into the sin of the religious leaders. Help us to not be hypocrites and help us to not deny your word. As you speak, let us respond. Let us devote ourselves to you, the Christ, the Messiah, the one who saves. In Jesus' name, amen.